Expression number four is how to say congratulations in Arabic. It's a very well uh, known expression and even on Facebook, if you write this word in Arabic, you'll find like some celebrations animation will come out on your screen, which is Mabruk. Mabruk. Mabruk is how to say congratulations in Arabic. Mabruk is Congratulations. And the response is Allah Yibarik Feek. Allah Yibarik Feek. Allah means God and Yibarik means bless you. Yibarik Feek means bless you. So Mabruk is like I'm wishing that God bless what you have got. Because you may use congratulations when someone like get high degrees or succeeded in something or get a new baby or in weddings. In all the situations we use Mabruk. So the response is Allah Yibarik Fiq like God bless you too or God bless what you already have. The next expression is how to say thanks in Arabic. Thanks means Shukran. Shukran is thanks and the response is Af one Af one If you learned how to read in Arabic you will know that this sign is called Ittanween and it's like the noon sound without having the letter noon but if you haven't learned how to read, just say it like that. Shok run is, th is saying thanks or thank you. And the half one is like never mind or the response. So shokran is the same from masculine to feminine. And the half one is the same from masculine to feminine. Allah Barik Fiq, we use it for masculine. And if we want to say it for feminine, we have to add fiki. Allah yibarik fiki. So adding the yi sound. Allah yibarik fik. Allah yibarik fiki. Saying I'm sorry in Arabic is quite different from saying it's fine. But it's fine could have the same meaning for I'm sorry. It's fine is saying malish. Malish. It's fine. Like someone did something maybe wrong in the exam and you wanna like tell them it's fine. So you will say malish. And also, if you say if you did something wrong and you wanna apologize, so you'll say malish. So malish could be used for saying I'm sorry and could be used for saying uh, it's fine. And also another way to say only I'm sorry is Anna, which means I Anna Asif. Anna Asif. So, sorry could be Anna Asif or Anna Asfa for feminine and it could be Malish. Malish and which also means it's fine. So, Anna Asif or Anna Asfa is how to say I'm sorry in Arabic and Malish could have two meanings like it's fine or it's okay and the other meaning is I'm sorry Malish and Anna Asif or Anna Asfa The next expression is how to say please in Arabic Please in Arabic is saying Law Samahat Two words Law Samahat Law samahat is how to say please. So, law samahat, bring me something. Law samahat. Or, while talking to someone and you want to be more apologized, you can use two ways to say please. The other way is mumkin. 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 You can say mumkin law samahat. And then continue your question. Mumkin law samahat. So, لو سمحت 
لو سمحتي because سمحت is a verb لو سمحتي and the other one is ممكن is the same because it's like saying can can you please it's for request so لو سمحت and لو سمحتي is saying please and the other one is ممكن The last expression for today is how to say good night in English. Good night in English is a bit cold expression. But in Arabic we have a very like generous expression which means tisbah ala khair. Let's write it. Tisbah ala khair. All the students, when they learn the meaning of this expression, they start using it and they stopped using good night, even with their family. Because tisbah al khair is like wishing the person, when they wake up, to be uh, in a good mood or to be uh, like, or to wake up on a good news. Because sometimes we, you know that when we wake up, we wake up in a bad mood or we wake up on something very like sad. So I'm wishing the person when they wake up, it good. It could be like a good morning for them, a good like uh, sleeping. So I'm saying this bah ala khair, and the response is quite similar, which means winta min ahlo. Winta means you, and min ahlo ahlo means like group, or uh, it means family. So someone is telling me like I wish you wake up from the people who uh, be in a good mood or they wake up uh, in a good mood. I'm wishing you to be from the same group or from the same family. So I'm saying inta min ahlo. So tisbah ala khir, and the response is wa inta min ahlo or wa inta min ahlo. The changes will be tisbahi. على خير تصبحي على خير adding the ye sound and the other one will be وانتي من اهله just the normal change so in this uh, video we talked about some very important expressions we started by saying welcome back which is الحمد لله على السلامة and then talking to someone when they are ill which is Alf salam, and the two expressions the same respond. The next expression was how to say كل سنة وانت طيب in many situations like birthdays, New Years, and Muslim Zaid. And the following one was how to say congratulations. Then we learned how to say thanks and I'm sorry. Then please. And the last one was how to say good night when you are about to sleep.